Uh, move this heavy piece of steel. Okay, uh, to get, so I'm going to install this on my Dell Precision T5, 3500, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna take this thing out and this is going to release the side panel. Just gonna get the side panel out like that. Let me move these things out of the way. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to get the front panel off. Okay, next I'm gonna take out the front panel. So to do that, you pull on this and then you push up to get it out. So I'm gonna do that right now, get a better camera angle. I'm gonna push that out like that and then push up to remove this panel right here. Removed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the side so you push down on here and then that will release the front panel. And you can remove the front panel just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of the drives. So push down again, and then when you push down, it allows you to slide the drive out. So I'm going to unplug the back drive. Notice on a DVD drive it has these discs, it has these uh, screws. I'm gonna mount them. I'm gonna mount them in there. Just like that. So it's the bottom screw. You need to do this so it slides into the drive bay. Don't get it in too tightly, just get it in about that much. Do the same for the other sides as well. For, the, for this side it's one, for the other side it's two, you put two on the bottom. going in very good. So I'm gonna get them in. I've gotten all the screws on now. The way I did it was I just put it right next to my knee like, like this and I Put it like this so it's stable and then I just 
screwed it on as straight as I can, as I could. And then now I got it to this point, which is straight enough, I think, to put into that rail so it won't have any problems. I'm gonna kind of like redo this one and show you. This one's not very straight. Okay, now it's pretty straight. So I'm gonna get it into the drive bay now. Because these screws for the Dell weren't meant for this bracket, so you have to kind of like screw it in here. But it's possible because this is plastic and that's steel, so it's you can if you keep screwing it in, it it'll go through, it'll bore right through it. So to get it in, you just put it in the straight. push down on that thing and then push it in and it locks into place as you can see right there to get it out push down straight this comes right out drive in just put it in the front down, push down on that, and push in, and just get it to lock in place. Now it's locked, so it doesn't move. To get it out, push down, and then push it out. Just like that. Okay. SATA cables in. Sorry, can't see this. If you can't see this, it's uh, very dark. Okay, that's a SATA data cable. That's a SATA power cable. Now they're both in. If for some reason that your SATA cable isn't, power cable isn't long enough, then you can use one of these. You plug it into the power cable and you get two extras. Two extra power cables. Let me show you. I could just plug it in here and get two extra power cables. Just like that. Close the front. You may have something like this, a front cover. You have to remove that before you put the panel in if you install something in there. So to do that, you just pinch on that and then just pull it out. 
Now we can put the cover back on. So you have to put the cover in this way. Your hinge, you kind of like hinge it. Push it in like that. Put the front cover on. I've got to align it, basically. The slot holes. Not yeah, difficult. Everything's aligned. Cover back on. <laughs> Cover this here. Just align it. The holes in the hinge. And get it in. Close it just like that. That's how you install a bracket, a hard drive adapter. Thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS 1975.